In the next two lectures, I'm going to talk about the different categories for different programming languages. And in this lecture, we are covering the programming language different spectrum, basically talking about different groups or families of programming languages. First, computer scientists group language as the following different two major branches. The first one is declarative, or you can say it's called derivative. The second one is imperative. Imperative means by order, or you can call it by control structure. The declarative type can also be named as the rule type. Basically, set up different rules, either by function, by data flow, or by logic. The functional languages, including Lisp, Scheme, ML, Haskell. The data flow model languages, including ID, VAL, Logic Programming Constraint Based, Prolog, Spreadsheet, SQL. Basically, this is the rule based. Imperative languages, including manual machine programming languages, by including C, Ada, Fortune, Pascal, and JavaScript, and different other languages, are developed a lot of different languages. Object oriented programming languages, Smalltalk, LFL, Java, scripting language, Perl, Python, and PHP. Programming paradigm. These different languages are developed based on different programming paradigms. The first category we like to talk about is the declarative languages. All of these three different programming paradigms can be called as rule based. The first one is functional programming. Basically, you organize your program by function, calling function, and the program is executed by a functional call. So there is no control structure, but the program is executed based on who called the other function and the other function called another function. And the program is executed according to the function call orders. The second one is data flow programming. It is used in MATLAB Simulink with programming environment. You can think about a image processing pipeline. You have source for the image, and then the source these different files, and the file read in different images. An image got read in, and you do some processing, and eventually you write out the image. So the data flow from the left to the right, or you can read some file directly write out. So these are different data flows. And the program basically, from the data source to the data sync, and you basically just have a clean environment to facilitate such a data flow. That's the second programming paradigm using data flow. The third one is the logic programming. In logic programming environment, basically you have the different rules. You have rule or for pretty k and the class. You have head and body. And when you evaluate the pretty k, you will execute this cross and then evaluate different other predicates. And those predicates can call some facts or some other rules. And for example, a friend of x, y will depend on whether x like y and y likes x. And this evaluation system will help to depend on the fact that Jiang like Jane and Jane must like Jiang. So when x and y equals Jiang and Jane, or Jen and Jiang, this friendship will be built up. But if you evaluate Jack and Jen, only Jack like Jen, but Jen doesn't like Jack. So the friend of Jack and Jen will fail. And this is a programming paradigm based on logic programming, and it is dual based. The second category, the imperative programming languages, and here are different programming models, or we call it programming paradigms. The first one is the manual programming languages, or we call it accumulator model. 
it is quite easy. You have a control unit and a memory unit, and the memory is called the accumulator. So you basically do some calculation based on the data in the memory, and you do some calculation and feedback to the memory. So it's like a control of the data over and over on the memory processing until it got output. So this is called Manuman Programming Paradigm, or some people call it Control Flow Paradigm. Compared to the previous slides, we have the Data Flow Paradigm, and Data Flow Paradigm and the Control Flow Paradigm, both of them coexist in programs. But these two models just focus on different things. And, and the program in this manual programming paradigm also have data flow, but it just be control based or control structure based. The second category in this imperative languages is object oriented programming. Basically, most of the object oriented programming language is also the control based. The only difference they have is not on the control structure, but instead, is on the data structure. It basically uses the object-oriented concept. But some advanced environment, we have the event-driven programming, and that could be different from manual programming environment. Basically, that have to depend on the event-driven model. So basically, it have to depend on the event processing model. There could be event loop that would be the same with the control model. If it is event queue or multi-threading event processing environment, then it is a new paradigm. We call it a concurrency programming paradigm. So object-oriented programming paradigm can be control paradigm or the concurrent programming paradigm or event-driven programming paradigm. That will depend on the implementation instead of the language itself. The third one is scripting programming paradigm. Basically, you have a script call, like Python call. You compile to a certain bytecode. Or you do interpretation in some bytecode instead of compilation, and those bytecodes sent to virtual machine. And that got executed by the virtual machine. And that scripting language is based on virtual machine. This is another paradigm we call it program on program. Basically, you apply some program based on the interpreter program or a virtual machine. And in fact, Java can also be counted as scripting environment because it also uses the virtual machine. But because of the compiler structure, Java usually not counted as scripting programming. There is a new programming paradigm called block programming. For example, like Scratch or Snap languages. These two block programming languages are similar. Snap is developed based on Scratch. And we also have my block, MIT, my inventor 2, that is for cell phone app development. Basically, this block programming is based on graphic design, data flow, or rule base. That will depend on the language itself. So, so block programming language can be of different programming paradigm, but it is a new way of doing programming, and the programming paradigm have to depend on the language itself. And my block is similar to Simile. It basically has the signal source and processing stage and the signal sync. Here are three text-based language. The first one is GCD algorithm for C language. So it's, second one is also the GCD algorithm based on OCAM, based on OCAM language. And this language is a functional programming language. So it's basically based on the functional call. The third one is Prolog. It is based on the rule-based logic reasoning programming paradigm. And you can see the difference between these three different programming languages and the paradigms. And in the next lecture, we will be focusing on the Manuma programming paradigm or control-based programming paradigm. Thank you. Bye.